Uh, we are going to show here that the SLNR is a normal subgroup of GLNR. First of all, what is GLNR? These are all A and cross N matrices over R such that determinant of A is not equal to 0. So, in simple word, invertible matrices. And what is SLNR? SLNR is those A belongs to GLNR, those invertible matrices whose determinant of A is 1. Okay. We will use here the fact that kernel of a group homomorphism is a normal subgroup so we will show that there exist phi group homomorphism such that kernel of phi will be the SLNR and hence it will be a normal subgroup of GLNR so the phi function is the determinant of A. Phi function is from G L N R to real numbers. And it is defined as phi of A is determinant of A. Okay, first of all, when we talk about this, we need to talk about the product we are using. It is matrix multiplication, and here there is the product set of all R non negative, uh, non zero real numbers with the product group operation. Now, to show phi is a group homomorphism phi a dot b will be equal to determinant of a dot b which is equal to determinant of a dot determinant of b which is equal to phi a dot phi b This is product in R. So indeed, phi is a group of homomorphism. You can check it is well defined and other things. So what is the kernel of phi? First of all, what is identity in R excluding 0 with product? Identity is 1 in case of product. So, curve phi will be those such that phi A is equal to 1. That is, those matrices whose determinant A is equal to 1. And what are those matrices? These are the SLNR set. Hence, SLNR is a normal subgroup of GLNR. 